From the corners of the country, from the cities and the farms With years and years of living tucked up underneath their arms They walk away from everything just to see a dream come true So God bless the boys who make the noise on 16th Avenue There's a quiet little cafe in the middle of this town Where they gather up the poets every night and in the round And they sing the songs that made them great and the songs you never knew The ones they say they'll never play on 16th Avenue Faded love Faded memories How they linger in the mind She played tambourine With a silver jangle And she must have known the words To at least a million two but the one most requested by the man she knew as Campbell was the late night benediction at the all come back In a voice soft and gently, she'd sing her song to Cowboy as a smoky halo circled round her raven. All the fallen angels and the pinball playing rounders stopped the games that they'd been playing for the losers evening play. Faded love, faded memories, how they linger in the mind. Thinking back on Amarillo He dream of better days And ask for faded love Lifting high his glass in honor Of the lady and her son He paid his check and lonely walked That broken cowboy home She played tambourine With a Silver jangle, and she must have known the words to at least a million tunes. But the one most requested by the man she knew as cowboy was the late night benediction at the Y'all Come Back Saloon. She played tambourine with a Silver jangle And she must have known The words to at least A million tones But the one Most requested By the man she knew As cowboy Was a late night Benediction That y'all come Back so Thank you. Y'all are great, thanks. There's a little thing that happens in life once in a while. You run across a miracle or it's dropped into your lap. And that may come in the form of a good friend or it may come in the form of a great song that's memorable to you or it may come in the form of a mentor. And tonight... Um, I have the pleasure of working with a, a person who embodies all three things, and he's my personal miracle, Mr. Bill Anderson. Thank you. <laughs> I also want to introduce to you the, the two gentlemen who are with us tonight, braving the uh, 
odds that we get it right. On my right is Mr. Michael Seavers, my trusted friend and brilliant accompanist. And also working with us tonight is Mr. Lef Singer. Les Singer. <laughs> Lef Singer. <laughs> and the way they play guitar and handle their music is the dream of every woman in the world. So. I didn't know until I was talking to Sharon about this a little while ago. It was 25 years ago this month that a friend of mine called me on the phone and asked me if I would listen to a couple of songs written by a friend of his. And I said, yeah, you know, we get called on to do things like that quite often. And he said, well, I don't know if she can write songs or not, but I'm going to get her to come by your office and, and I'll just tell her to bring two songs and you listen to those two songs and tell me if you think she's got any talent as a songwriter. And this little diminutive lady walked into my office and she was a little nervous and she didn't even play an instrument and I'm thinking how's she going to sing these songs that she's written if she can't play an instrument but I didn't have to worry about that very long she said well here's one I'll sing for you and she sang a song called the y'all come back saloon and I thought well that's pretty good for one but she can't she can't do another one that's got good I said sing me another one and and I was right the second one was not as good it was better. It was called My Heroes Have Always Been Cowboys. I knew that night this lady could write songs. Miss Sharon Vaughn, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Well, well, well. Thank you. I quit writing songs for about 10 years. Did you know that? That's not funny. Well, it wasn't at the time. But you know, in... In the early 80s, country music started to, to change. And I wasn't real sure that I knew how to change with it. So I kind of just tucked my tail between my legs and went off and did game shows and soap operas and things like that and thought, well, I'll let other people write songs. One day in 1992, I was riding down the road and a song came on the radio and I heard the disc jockey say, I think this is going to be a number one song. And I reached over and I turned up the volume. And um, I recognized the song. It was an old song of mine that I had written 30 years ago. And it was a new record on it. And all of a sudden that just set off a little explosion in my head. This is when I started writing songs again. Because I said if something I wrote 30 years ago could be a hit. Then maybe I could write something new that would be a hit. And for anything that I've been lucky enough to write in the last few years, I owe it all to a dear friend of mine named Steve Warner, who dug up an old song of mine. I reached out my arms and I touched you with soft words. I whispered your name. I held your love on the tips of my fingers But that was as close as I came My eyes had a vision of sweet lips Yielding beneath my command I held your love on the tips of my fingers But I let it slip right through my hand Yes, I let you slip right through my hand Somebody took you when I And I should have known from the start It's a long, long way from the tips of my fingers To the love hidden deep in 
your heart To the love hidden deep in your heart I grew up a dream of being a cowboy, loving the cowboy ways, pursuing the lives of my high run heroes, burned up my childhood days. I learned all the rules of a modern day drifter. Don't you hold on to nothing too long. Just take what you need from a lady and leave them with the words of a sad country song. My heroes have always been cowboys And they still are, it seems Sadly in search of And one step back of themselves And their slow-moving dreams Mr. Michael Sievers. Mr. Les Singer. Cowboys are special With their own brand of misery From being alone too long You could die from the cold In the arms of a nightmare Knowing well your best days are gone Picking up hookers Instead of my pen I let the words of my youth Fade away Old worn out saddles And old worn out memories 
with no one and no place to stay. For my heroes have always been cowboys, and they still are. Sadly in search of And one step and back of themselves And their slow moving dream How they're sadly in search of And one step and back of themselves And their slow moving dream Tell you, may I tell you a funny story on myself on that song? Sure. I was um, asked to write a song, a, a cowboy song, for a project that Bobby Bear was doing. And I went home that after I was a recording artist for ABC Dot, and I was just kind of hanging around. And Bobby's producer said, "Go home and write me a cowboy song." So I obediently went home and wrote my heroes have always been cowboys so i brought it back the next day pretty pleased with myself you know moderately so and um so anyway the producer played it for bobby and he said no nah, man I, I i really don't hear it so the producer played it again he said no nah, man i really don't hear it and I was so embarrassed by that rejection that I just grabbed my little reel to reel. And I had a record that was just about to come out on ABC Dot. And it was written by W. Jennings and Troy Seals. I, of course, assumed that it was Waylon Jennings. So I dashed over to his office in the throes of rejection and uh, unbelievably got in to see Waylon and I said well I just wanted to come in because I just recorded one of your songs and it's so wonderful and Jesus I sound like Renee Bell at RCA <laughs> so, <clears throat> so I, anyway I said I just want to go in there and play you this song because you would be pleased and I'm, I'm bowing at your feet and, and it's a, it, please and I'm short and please <laughs> So he let me in, and he played the song all the way through, and he turned around and he said, Sharon, that's a really nice record, and I, I'm so glad you came by, but I didn't write it. At which point, I said, fine, I'll be right back because I have a song I wrote just for you. Please do not move. I'll be right back. And I ran to my car, and I brought Heroes, and he put it on. And I, I can still see that image of him in this big black Naga hide chair, you know, with like with the duct tape on the back and the, the little. Anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the back of this Naga hide chair thinking, I am such a dope, you know, he's going to throw me out of here, you know, hit me with that funny looking guitar. So, so anyway, he whirled around in his, after the first line, he whirled around in that chair and said some things that I cannot possibly repeat. And he picked up the phone and called Jack Clement that night. Mr. Jennings did. Flew him in and he recorded the song that night for the Outlaws album. Wow. I was 19 years old and living in a little town called Commerce, Georgia, working as a disc jockey on the radio station there. And I lived in the tallest building in town. It was three stories tall. And I used to take my guitar a lot of times in the evening and I'd go up on the roof of this little hotel and I'd just sit up there and pick and sing to nobody in particular, just to the night. And one night, like the song 16th Avenue says, I guess, some 
magic words rolled off the tongue and, and good things happened. And I looked up at the stars and down at what few lights there were in Commerce, Georgia, and unlocked the key to Nashville with a song called The Bright Array of City Lights As Far as I Can See. The great white way shines through the night For lonely guys like me The cabarets and honky-tonks Their flashing signs invite A broken heart to lose itself In the glow of city light Lights that say forget her name In a glass of sherry wine Lights that offer other girls For empty hearts like mine They paint a pretty picture Of a world that's gay and bright but it's just a mask for loneliness Behind those city lights The world was dark And God made stars to brighten up the night did the God who put those stars above Make those city lights? Did he make a place for men to cry When things don't turn out right? Are we just supposed to run and hide Behind those city lights? Lights that say forget her love In a different atmosphere Lights that lure are nothing but A masquerade for tears They paint a pretty picture But my arms can't hold them tight And I just can't say I love you street of city lights No, I just can't say I love you to a street of city lights Whoa. You know, I knew this was going to happen Standard, 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 standard. <laughs> number one, number one, number one, number one. <laughs> you know what my daddy said to me, and, and I, I have loved this, this quote all my life, because Commerce, Georgia, was, is and was then a very small town, two or three traffic lights. There were no cabarets and honky-tonks. And my dad said the neatest thing. He said, son, I should have known when you wrote that song that you had the imagination it took to be a songwriter because there wasn't <laughs> no lights in Commerce, Georgia. you now do you fall asleep let's lay it down and let it be when the morning comes and wakes us up I'll be back to being us again it's a trial by fire that we're going through but we'll survive Like we always do Oh, there's no heat that's hot enough To melt the bond binding the two of us Steel bridges won't burn Pouring down rain when the rain 
Norwegian River flows It can bear the weight of a runaway train It's strong enough to hold Steel bridges Steel bridges won't burn Love these days For most people we know Is a passing phase and it goes But we've got something they all need And I'm not gonna watch it walk away from me Steel bridges won't burn And they won't wash away The stand sun and the pouring down rain when the raging river flows. It can bear the weight of a runaway train strong enough to hold steel bridges. Steel bridges won't It can bear the weight of a runaway train Strong enough to hold Steel bridges Steel bridges won't burn Baby Steel bridges Steel bridges won't Thank you. I got to do something last week that was um, kind of special to me. I'm sure you were a fan of Lefty Frizzell's. Oh, yeah. So many people in country music today borrow from his style, the, the, uh, the, the slip note style that he started that, um, that influenced, you know, everybody from Merle Haggard to all the Merle Haggard wannabes that have come along in recent years. I got to go to Lefty's hometown, Corsicana, Texas, and um, did that's, a concert that, down that's there. That's the fruitcake place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was right at home. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up. We should take this on the road. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Get matching socks and go on the road. Um, they have a museum to Lefty Frizzell down there. And it, it, well, it brought back some, some very special memories to me. I, I was lucky enough to be the co-writer of the last number one song that Lefty ever recorded. And it was... Uh, it, it, it brought back a lot of memories. Number one, I wanted to record this song, and I didn't get to it on my session, and I told Don Wayne, who was the co-writer, I said, hold it, because next time I record, I want to do it. Well, he held it for about 30 minutes and pitched it to Lefty, <laughs> and Lefty recorded it. I'm, and looking back now, I'm, I'm awfully glad that he did. But this record hit so fast and became so big so quick that Lefty... Well, we did a show in St. Louis, and, and Lefty was booked there on the strength of this song being the number one record in St. Louis. And he went out on stage and he sang all of his great hits from the 50s, but he didn't sing this song, and the people started screaming for this song, and he walked back out, and he said, I don't know it. He didn't know the song, and it was number one in the country. So I sneaked out from behind the curtain, and I walked up behind him, and I said, I'll tell you the words you just sang. And I stood back there and told him the words. Wow. And, uh, and he sang this song. You want to kick it off? I was born in Saginaw, Michigan. I 
grew up in a house on Saginaw Bay My daddy was a poor, hard-working Saginaw fisherman Too many nights he came home with too little pay I loved a girl in Saginaw, Michigan the daughter of a wealthy, wealthy man But he called me that son of a Saginaw fisherman And he said I wasn't good enough to claim his daughter's hand That's why I'm up here in Alaska Looking around for gold like a crazy fool I'm digging in the frozen ground so cold With each new day I pray I'll strike it rich and then I'll go back home and claim my love in Saginaw, Michigan I wrote my love in Saginaw, Michigan I said, honey, I'm coming home, please wait for me And you can tell your dad I'm coming back a richer man I've hit the biggest strike in Klondike history her daddy met the bus in Saginaw, Michigan He gave me a great big party and we drank champagne Then he said, son, you're a wise, young, ambitious man Don't you want to sell your father-in-law your Klondike claim? And now he's up there in Alaska Digging in the cold, cold ground The greedy fool is looking For the gold I never found It serves him right And no one here is missing him Least of all the newlyweds Of Saginaw, Michigan we're the happiest man and wife in Saginaw, Michigan And he's ashamed to show his face in Saginaw, Michigan This is called Out of My Bones, and thank you, Randy Travis, for getting it. And it was a number one, Bill. Number one, number one, number one. I'm in need of a remedy to cure you from loving you. Don't look at me. me with the iced tea story. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Mikey. I'm in need of a remedy to keep me from loving you. They seem a little extreme. I'll do what I have to do. Bury your jacket in my backyard. Carry your picture in my shoe. And keep walking Till the hurting stops, keep walking Till my temperature drops, keep walking Till the fever is gone And you're out of my bones I'm in need of medicine Something strong that'll work real fast That I can take to fortify me To keep my arms 
arms from taking you back Chase that ghost out from under my bed Keep those voices in my head I'm talking to myself, I keep talking To myself, I keep talking From daylight till dawn Till you're out of my bones Come and set me free I just need to get you out of me yeah. Bury your jacket in my backyard Carry your picture in my shoe And keep walking Till the hurting stops, keep walking Till the temperature drops, keep walking Till the fever is gone And you're out of my bones Till you're out of my You ever had a song recorded and you thought well, after it had been cut that the demo was better than the record? You don't have to name names, but I mean, <laughs> has that ever happened? Of course. Yeah. yeah. It does happen. It? As a matter of fact, the first time I ever had a record recorded, I cried for two days. I thought it was the most awful thing I'd ever heard in my entire life. But I bet I it, got went to over it. it went to number one, right? Well, maybe, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did get over it. I really. When the royalty check got there. But you know what I did? I tried to send the check back. I'm not real bright, Bill. <laughs> you tried to send the check back? I really did. I thought, golly, you know, they've made some horrendous mistake and they're going to come looking for me and I'm going to be in jail and I'm a nice girl and I can't do this. And I, I, I called them to send my check back and they said, no, sweetheart, you keep it, you dummy. I didn't realize you made as much money on a hit record as you make, and I really did that. I did. You and I have written together. Of course we have. Once or twice. We wrote a song, and it was one of those kind of like you were talking about a while ago. We wrote it like on a Tuesday, and it got recorded like on a Friday or a Saturday by uh, a new artist on MCA named Keith Harling. And it didn't make his album. Right. And then it got recorded by Kenny Chesney. And it didn't did make, make his, his album. <laughs> and then it got recorded by Mark Chestnut. And what do you think? It didn't, didn't make, make his, his album. album. <laughs> and then it got recorded by Doug Stone. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it didn't make his album either. And it finally got cut again the other day by a new artist, and I hope it makes his album. I hope the guy doesn't try to cross a street in front of a truck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna, really concerned about this kid for his life, you know. If it doesn't come out this time, they're going to give me and you a gold demo award <laughs> for having yeah. a half a million cuts and never getting it released. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason they say they won't release it should I tell that? <laughs> I, I double dog dare you because it's totally true. Every one of them has said after they've cut the song that they ain't going to release it because it's too country. <gasps> Imagine. Now that's two words that I don't think should ever be in the same sentence. Two and country. Yeah. I... I never heard a rock and roll singer say a song's too rock. Or a jazz singer say that's too jazzy. Or that's too rap. But they say it's too country. Yeah, it's kind of hard, hard to take. And I say, too country? What's that? Is that like 
too Republican or too Democrat? Is it too far to the left? Is it too far to the right? Too straight down the middle? Is it too black or too white? Are the biscuits too fluffy? Is the chicken too fried? Is the gravy too thick? Are the peas too black-eyed? Is the iced tea too sweet? Does it have too much tang? Are there too many lemons in Mama's lemon meringue? Are the roses too red? Is the sunshine too bright? Are there too many stars in the heavens at night? Are there too many fish that still jump in the stream? Is the blue sky too blue? Is the clean air too clean? Two country. What's that? Is it too many pearls of wisdom under Grandpa's old hat? Is it just too old-fashioned? Is it just too antique? Is the question too strong? Is the answer too weak? Is the grace too amazing? Is the steeple too tall? Are there too many yes sirs? Yes ma'ams and how are y'all? Is the message too real? Too close to the bone Do the fiddle and steel Remind you too much of home Is honest and true Just not in demand Too country Too country And too country I don't understand We have some singers in here, so if you want to sing on the chorus, I would love it. Well, good morning. Tell me, how do you sleep last night? You're still smiling. So we must have done something right Don't feel guilty Because you turned to me last night Ooh, we ain't done nothing wrong We've just been alone Just been lonely too long Now it's only natural When you've been too long in the dark To look for comforts And to warm yourself by the fire you're just afraid that you might get your fingers burned. Ooh, you ain't done nothing wrong, no. Just been lonely too long. We Just been a long way too 
standing right outside your heart I'll now be watching you, baby For the slightest sign of a spark If you should want to turn to me yeah, yeah. We ain't done nothing wrong We just been lonely too long No, we ain't done nothing wrong We just been lonely We've just been lonely too long